Hello, it's really good to talk to you like this and we're going to talk about grandmas and we're going to talk about technology. I started a small not-for-profit company called Learn with Grandma and we have a concept about intergenerational education. Now what's this all about? Well, the concept is not new. In fact, it's as old as the hills. The Bible, Psalm 78, tells us to teach the children the mysteries our fathers taught to us. What is new in this technological age is that we've forgotten how important the link between the generations is, and society is the poorer. When I met Moses in, uh, at an e-learning Africa conference in Tanzania last May, one of the other speakers was a chief from Cameroon. He shocked me when he said, we are losing traditional skills in Africa at an alarming rate. That is so true in more developed countries that I'd not imagined that the same thing was happening in Africa. The world has a rich storehouse of knowledge and we are in danger of losing a huge chunk unless we do something about it. We really do have only a couple of decades before the pre-digital, older people like me pop off. We are losing skills, tradition, culture, languages at an alarming rate, and yet we have the technology and the manpower to save it all. I can hold in the palm of my hand a microcomputer with more memory than computers of less than five years ago. This tiny gadget can access the World Wide Web and all the information that is on it is available to everyone Everywhere there is either broadband or a mobile phone signal. From the palm of my hand, I can see and learn and communicate with people all over the world. Modern communication methods are wonderful educational tools for all ages. The internet does not recognize national barriers or age barriers. We can use the same technology to break down the digital age barriers. We have the teachers. The young can share their technological skills with the older generations. While they teach, while they record older people's stories and knowledge, they will learn the mysteries of the past. Technology is not new to the young. What to my generation is either scary or magic is to young people the way it has always been. They are digital natives. Who is better to teach those older people who are curious and want to learn than the young, than the digital natives? Who is better to teach history, culture, traditions than the older people, their parents and grandparents? So the Learn with Grandma concept is not so much about what people do, what they learn, what fun activities they take part in is that they do these things together and that we use technology to record what they are doing. Technology will be the bridge uniting the generations as they learn together and we will also encourage greater respect and understanding. Technology in all its forms is just a tool. It's a wonderful tool I live in a little cottage in Wales, and I'm talking to you in Uganda. Wow. Technology is breaking down age barriers. I'm 70 and a great gran granny. I love technology. I don't understand how it works, and I don't need to know. I drive a car, but I've no idea how the engine works. This seminar will tell you how to care for and maintain your computers. The Ugandan government asked Moses to do that. I expect you do not have enough technical people. On the rare occasions when my computer needs attention, I call Graham, who lives in a village near me. He now works full-time taking care of all the local people's computers. He doesn't charge much, and it's worth it to me. Let me make a little suggestion. Some of you will get the hang of the technical side better than others. Some of you will be more like me and just want to know how to use it. My suggestion is that the really technical-minded ones learn as much as you can. Then you could become like Graham and help those like me. 
I'm not unique. There are lots of older people like me who use technology. But I do admit that most older people simply do not see the need. Why? When you're quite comfortable as you are, why should you spend a lot of money buying something you don't understand, don't see the need for, and even worse, show your ignorance to young people? I was like that. My son dragged me kicking and screaming. I didn't want to know. Now I love it. I said no to Facebook, but my grandson Adam put vote for Val on and I won a competition. Yay. I received votes from Ukraine to California and from Latvia to Australia. Amazing. How many of you are on Facebook? You can now join Learn with Grandma in Uganda on Facebook. I hope you will use it as a networking tool to keep in contact with each other, with people in other parts of Uganda and with people in other parts of the world. Moses and I use it all the time. It's a good backup for emails and I can contact Moses, contact you, as easily as I can contact my neighbours here in my village. It's easier to send an email than it is to drive a few miles to see them. The world is now a global village. Learn with Grandma wants to establish a brand to encourage more intergenerational activities everywhere, and you can help. The Learn with Grandma network will promote the concept of intergenerational learning to the wider community and become a forum where all can share best practice, share helpful t experiences, learn from the mistakes others have made, and encourage more intergenerational learning and activities. By we, I mean all of us. We can all record intergenerational activities, share this idea, and encourage more intergenerational activities. Moses has a very big job to do throughout the whole of Uganda, and I hope that what we are starting here today will spread throughout the rest of Uganda. I hope you will set up a Learn with Grandma Facebook group for your school, your community. It will be able to link to other groups throughout Uganda and in many other countries. Encourage your students to post their activities, to learn from and to teach their parents and grandparents. Learn with Grandma has initiated a European project, Granny PC, and our Turkish partner has already posted some intergenerational activities onto the internet. You can have a look. The, the web link is www.kudak.web.tr. Have a look at their video gallery. To fulfill the objects of this project, all our European partners must film examples of intergenerational learning and activities and share them with the partnership and with the wider world via the web. In February, we applied for more EU funds to extend this project to more European countries. And I was so pleased. I discovered that we could add one country from outside Europe, providing that what you, they were doing was of value to the European partners. Of course, we included Uganda because what Moses do, is doing here in Uganda with running these seminars, showing people the value of using technology and in promoting intergenerational learning is exactly what I want to happen in Europe, everywhere. The application was submitted on time, so now it's fingers crossed and pray time. If we are successful, then Moses will receive enough funds to come to Europe and teach the other partners here what he is achieving in Uganda. You will also have to film intergenerational activities in Uganda. But we don't have to wait to see if the bid for funds is successful. You can start now. In Tanzania, Shikuru Koamba, Tanzania Minister for Education, said, we must all be teachers and all learners. There can never be enough teacher that each generation can learn from the other. Here's a little challenge for you. Go home and talk to your parents and your grandparents. Learn one thing from them and teach them one thing. Write what you have done 
and post it on Facebook, the Learn with Grandma group for your school and on the Ugandan group so that others can learn from what you are doing. If you can photograph or even better take a short film of this learning exchange, brilliant. Then I, sitting in my little cottage in Wales and all my friends around the world, will be able to see what you are achieving. And the films can go on to my next plan, a dedicated Learn With Grandma YouTube channel that will show everyone, everywhere, that the generations can learn together and have fun. I'm a granny on a mission, and I hope you will help spread this message. Goodbye.